right, what's good internet? This is Taylor Brooks, PDGA number 103209. Today I'm out here at Franklin Park in Percival, Virginia, and I'm gonna show you what's in the bag for 2021. So a couple months ago, I filmed and posted my 2020 in the bag. And at that point, I primarily threw Castaplast, um, but since then, thanks to enormous support from three Fs, friends, family, and fans, I'm now a sponsored player by Castaplast. So thank you so much, Castaplast. Some of the discs you'll see today are from my sponsorship, so I really appreciate the support. If you're not following, go check me out on Instagram at TB103209. We'll probably like put it right here or something. You'll put it here, right? Yep. Yeah, so go follow along if you aren't already. All right, let's 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 talk about the bag. So this year I am rocking the, I believe this is an old version of the Grip BX2, I think. So some of the features of this bag are the main disc compartment holds, I'd say probably 16 to 18 discs. The top putter pocket holds five for me pretty comfortably. I got five putters up there. A couple, couple things to note, it, I got the two side pockets for water uh, and the two side pockets for just towels and snacks and things like that. Still rocking the, uh, the Nerds Rope, shout out team Nerds Rope, and still rocking some of the little pins that maybe we'll get some close ups on. Got my Loco Disc Golf Club pin, shout out to them. This is one of the, uh, the main courses for the Loco Disc Golf Club. Those guys do a lot of great work, so appreciate it. start taking a look at the disc that I'm bagging this year. So in my top pocket is where I keep my putting putters. Start with those. And I got two K3 first run Ricos. Shout out to Kyle Ratcliffe again for all the first runs you see in my bag. Amazing person, he gifted them all to me. Um, these discs are just regular straight to hyzer putters that um, just feel comfortable in the hand. I like the K3 plastic for um, catching, catching the chains and catching the ground softly. Um, so these are my go-to putters. For throwing putters, I bag three Bergs. I got the pink K3 Berg. Uh, I use this for so many forehand up shots where I just want the disc to just have a nice soft finish. There's not a lot of, there's no glide to, to the Berg. So it just falls, it's a point and shoot disc for me. And then I also bag two K1 Bergs the regrind, uh, which is made from recycled plastic, really cool idea, as well as the K1 Soft Leaf Swenson Team Series 2021 disc. Um, and I use these primarily for backhands. I just feel more comfortable to me with backhands, just for you know any kind of short approach shot, 200 and in, where I need a backhand, I'll use either of these. Really depends on the kind of the ground, whether I go with the softer or the regular. Let's go into the main pocket here, and there's actually a couple putters here as well. Um, another Rico, but this Rico is K1 line, and I use this for actual air shots and, and approach shots, depending on the distance that I need. Probably if it's like 250, 260-ish, a little bit farther than I'm comfortable with a Berg, that's when I'll reach for this, this K1 Rico. Um, and then I also have this Harp, Westside Disc Harp. Um, Castaplast is generous to allow us to bag a couple different molds if we'd like and I really like the harp for a little bit farther shots in the Berg. I throw this primarily with a forehand. Um, shout out to, to Sully, Mike, Mike Sully Sullivan for this, this Haco stamped harp here. There's probably only like 25 of these in existence and he was generous enough to, to gift this to me. I really love the soft gummy plastic on this. I use this for up shots where I just want it to stick. That's kind of a common theme in my game. I want to be able to control, easily control where I'm landing by the basket. So I really like the soft plastic with this harp and just gives me a little bit more distance than the Berg does and a little bit more fade at the end. All right, so let's now move into the mid-ranges. I only bagged two mid-ranges. Um, last time, if you saw my other in the bag, you'll notice that I completely butchered pronunciations of some of the discs, uh, but I've been learning up and I believe I'm gonna pronounce this correctly. This is the Castaplast Yota. Uh, this is a four-speed mid-range that I use for backhands. Uh, if I need a little bit more distance in the Rico, that's when I'll reach for this Yota. I probably go about 275-ish. Um, it just has a nice, reliable finish to a uh, nice left fade for the right-handed backhand. Um, it's just a solid mid-range. And then the one of the newest additions to my bag, uh, the Castaplast Svea. 
This is their new understable-ish mid-range. Uh, for me, this Valentine's Day standpoint, it just it just feels so nice in the hand. And I throw it on a hyzer and it just flips up and just goes straight. I, I really love it for just glidey straight shots. I can throw this almost as far as my fairway driver sometime because it's just so glidey. Um, when you get the angle right, it really it really flies really, really well. So that's the Castaplast Svea in the K1 plastic. All right, let's move into the fairway drivers now. So I am bagging five fairway drivers with three of them being my number one favorite disc, the Falk. I love the Falk. I throw the Falk on so, so many tee shots. Um, this is my, my workhorse, my main go-to first run Falk. This is a very, very flippy disc for me. I love to throw this on a hyzer and it just flips up to flat and just ride straight through all the woods tunnels that I have to deal with here in Virginia. This yellow one is just a backup in case I, I lose the, the first run one. And then I this K1 Falk is, is a little bit different. I find the, uh, I'm sorry, K1 soft. I find the K1 soft plastic to be a little bit more stable. And with this Falk, it definitely rings true for me. Uh, I use this for when I want to still get that glide with the fall and still get that straight shot but have a just a little bit more fade to the right for my forehand and a little bit more reliable finish and sometimes the shot shape calls for that so i'll reach for this one all right my next fairway driver is the castaplast lutes with the charlie good pasture 2021 tour series stamp on it shout out charlie right out of the box first time i threw it was a bomber for me um, bat, I use it with bat for backhands and just straight shots with a reliable left finish. I can throw it about 350. Um, really, really like this disc, and I just I love the stamp and the color. And then my last disc is First Run Castaplast K1 Stall. This is a overstable fairway, just super duper reliable. I throw mostly forehands with it and just, just mash on it flat. And I know that it's gonna ride and just have that reliable finish to the right. Um, so I use this for in the range of probably 275 to 300 um, because it is, it is really stable. It finds the ground pretty quickly so it doesn't go as far, but it's got a ton of uses for me. Uh, and I really like it for just reliable finishes. All right, lastly, let's move on to the distance drivers. Bagging a handful of different ones here. First off, I'll start with the non-castas. I got three wraiths for different levels of stability. Uh, I like to throw this, this star wraith for flick shots. Uh, I, I like the wraith just for the glide, um, and it has a, a decently reliable finish as well, but I like to get the, the glide out of these. Um, so I throw this one for flick shots, and these two for backhands. Uh, shout out to my now teammate on Castaplast, Clay Edwards, who gave me this bottom stamp purple wraith. Uh, I really love this disc for just backhand full flex shots. And, and then this, I believe this is also a star. And then this is a champion wraith that I'll use for more just hyzer backhand shots. It has a little bit of a flip up, but it, I throw it mainly on a hyzer and just and just let it finish uh, reliably to the left. All right, enough with the non Castaplast discs. Let's talk about my Castaplast drivers. I have the Grim X with the Mayhem James Mays stamp. Shout out, appreciate the disc. Uh, I love the Grim X for shots similar to my stall, but just a little bit farther distance. I believe I had this exact one in the last bag. I don't, I don't really remember, um, but it's got a reliable finish and I'll, I'll put it out flat and I know that it'll just get a lot of distance and then, and then come back to the right for me. Um, so nice, solid disc. All right, my next distance driver is the Grim uh, so this is a very understable distance driver, and I use this for really specific shots. Um, I'll throw it on a lot of hyzer, and it'll flip up and sometimes turn all the way over. Um, really just depends on the elevation or the wind uh, for when I use this, but I really like it for for its its glide and its and its under stability. All right, and my last distance driver is the Castaplast Rask. I actually bagged two Rasks. One is very much what people know a Rask to be, super, super overstable. I will use this in really, really windy conditions and I'll know for a fact that it's gonna fade out. I will throw it on a huge ante and it always comes out. This disc is so, so overstable and it has uses for, for that purpose. 
Um, but this rask, for whatever reason, is a little more normal, a little more neutral. I can actually just put a good a good line on this, and it'll it'll hold for a bit, and even turn over um, and get um, good distance. Sometimes even this is a max distance disc for me. So um, yeah, that's the that's the rask. So that's everything. That's all the discs. Thank you again so much. Appreciate you watching and following along. Uh, all my friends and family and fans, you guys have been a tremendous support. And if you want to follow along on the journey, check me out on Instagram. I'm posting there daily. Uh, and thank you so much again, Castaplast, for, for sponsoring me. Really, really appreciate it. And Castaplast makes the best discs out there. So go get you some.